The bane of the Toronto Raptors' existence, the Detroit Pistons complete their second straight season sweep of the Raptors, not quite in the blowout fashion of before, but they still get the win, and uh, it was a bad night for the Raptors. Let's get into it in today's post-game show. Welcome Raptors fans to tonight's post-game show. The Raptors just fell 108-106 to the Pistons. We're going to break down everything you need to know about this game. Make sure if you enjoyed today's post-game show, that you subscribe to the channel to get post-game shows for pretty much every single Raptors game. Don't be afraid to give a like if you enjoy as well. But let's get started. The comeback that almost was. The Raptors were down by 14 going into the fourth quarter. They win the quarter 29-17. But... It wasn't enough for from the rest of the game. The Raptors just straight up did not play well. Uh, this is not a good team they played against. The, the Detroit Pistons uh, improved now to 16 and 47. Three of those 16 wins are against the Raptors. The Raptors haven't won against the Pistons in two seasons. And for you know a Raptors team who is a team trying to get into the playoffs, and a Pistons team who is probably looking to get better lottery odds. It just doesn't really make any sense why the Raptors continue to underwhelm against the Pistons. The Pistons, I mean, I know why they play well against us. They do it every time. This is the big game for them. This is a big game for Dwayne Casey, whether he admits it or not. This is a team that fired him. This is a team that he got coach of the year for and got fired. And then they won a championship without him. He's going to be a little bit salty. And and the players know that. And, and the players have vo been vocal about this in the past. They They've said... Uh, they know this game means a lot to, to to Casey, and you know naturally they they play up to incredible standards, and that is exactly what they did tonight, winning by two points in the end. Uh, down the stretch, you know, really happy with the way the Raptors fought back. It's just upsetting that they were in that position to begin with. They're down by 18 at one point, uh, but but I think it comes down to free throws in the end. I think it comes down to free throws. We miss a lot of free throws down the stretch. And it comes down to a little bit of, you know, you need some players to step up. And Gary Trent just didn't have a good game tonight. Um, you know, players are allowed to have bad games. But, you know, when Fred Van Vliet's out injured, the Raptors don't have floor spacing from sources other than Trent and Van Vliet consistently. No Van Vliet available for today. We needed Gary Trent Jr. to step up for the Raptors and uh, give us the spacing we needed. And he just didn't. Uh, he shot four for 23 from the field. Just, just awful. Three for 15 from three. Um, it was a bad night of shooting for the Raptors from three. And it was a good night of shooting for, from three for pretty much everybody uh, everybody else combined, except for Gary Trent. Uh, Siakam had a spectacular game. 10 for 15 from the field with 28 points. Five rebounds as well. Like, an absolutely incredible game from Siakam. Uh, Barnes as well, 21 points. Uh, Burt, I don't know why he's continuing to get as many minutes as he does. He's pretty useless out there. Uh, Achua, honestly, maybe even more minutes for him. 18 points. He's just been playing so well lately. Uh, Flynn, I thought, was great as well. No fourth quarter minutes, which I just didn't understand. We needed spacing, and he had hit two threes already. You know, the defense, maybe I can understand that we were going big on defense, and it was working defensively, but I thought Flynn should have gotten out there. Uh, the, the, the good thing about Gary Trent, though, is despite the deficiencies that he clearly showcased on offense tonight, Last season, Gary Trent shoots like this and then doesn't give you anything else. At least for like the entirety of the fourth quarter, Gary Trent didn't give you any offense, but he was really good defensively and I think was a key component to what we did defensively. So at least he does give us that now. Um, Boucher, I thought was positive, especially in the fourth quarter. It was a machine on the glass. Uh, but the Pistons, they came out to play. They have three players with 20-plus points. Cade has 22 on good shooting. Sadiq Bey, 23 on good shooting. Jeremy Grant, 26 on good shooting. Like, it was just a big game from a lot of different sources for the Detroit Pistons. And they fall back down to earth, field goal percentage-wise, in the fourth quarter. But they had amounted such a lead at one point, leading by 18, that... The Raptors just did not really have enough to come back. It just wasn't within their capabilities to do that. Um, despite having more free throws and, you know, rebounding was even and turnovers uh, were even at 10. The Raptors didn't show that they were the more talented team tonight. And as a result of, of, of not being able to showcase that, the Pistons, who looked hungrier 
and looked like they had more desire to win this game throughout the first three quarters they do enough damage in that time span that they get the win here um and you know it's just double whammy for the raptors here because they have the pistons second round pick so the more the pistons lose the the better that pick is going to be and the more we win obviously the better our position is you know how strange is it for the raptors to get blown out by the hawks hornets then win back to back against the nets and then lose against the pistons it's just a very strange team and um you know are we really that surprised here are we really that surprised because i'm not we haven't beaten the pistons in two seasons and honestly i wasn't even that shocked when the raptors were getting blown out here for some reason we struggle against the pistons and they find a new level that we are just unable to match and it is insanely frustrating that this should be a free win you circle on your calendar but it's it's almost like you circle it and you chalk it up as a loss before you even go into it and it doesn't make really any sense why it happens every single time here and there it happens but every single time it is it is extraordinarily frustrating as a raptors fan but uh what can we do a loss is a loss we have to get ready for tomorrow's game we are back against the orlando magic the orlando magic are actually uh doing they're actually doing worse than the pistons if i'm not mistaken so uh that's got to be a win for the raptors um you can't follow up losing to the second worst team in these by losing to the worst one so uh do whatever you got to do to figure out how you can keep that fourth quarter energy and performance level for the duration of the entire game tomorrow that's got to be a win i'm excited to be in attendance that sadly means no post game show i'm going to be away all weekend I, I just really won't be able to get one recorded unfortunately so um I'm sorry, but other than tomorrow, we do a post game show for every single Raptors game. So make sure you're subscribed to Amateur Eclipse. Check out our watch alongs on Twitch at twitch.tv slash amateur sports. That's where we do these watch. That's where we do these post game shows. I mean, we do the whole game. You guys get the post game show on YouTube as well, though, to get some extra eyes. And uh, don't be afraid to give a like for this as well. And uh, thank you so much for the support of this channel. We'll see you again next time for another post game show. <laughs>